the question that drives us all, the question that brought you here. You know the question, just as I did. What is bluejacking? Have you ever heard of bluejacking? Uh, no, I never heard of bluejacking. I don't know what does it mean, the second word, jacking. Have you ever been bluejacked before? N- no, what's that? Well, I'll tell you what it is. It's where other people um, use Bluetooth technology to send anonymous text messages to your phone. They can also steal information from your mobile phone. Are you surprised at that? I wouldn't think that's possible, that, nah. Blue jacket. Why is that, man? It doesn't even make sense, does it? Blue jacket. Uh, I've never heard of it. <laughs> it sounds like a jacket. <laughs> but I don't know. No, I've never heard of it. Ignorance is bliss for these people, but bluejacking is as easy as riding a bike. All you have to do is search for someone with a Bluetooth phone in discoverable mode and send them a message. If they accept your transmission, then their phone can become a conduit for your perversion. I spoke to a real bluejacker whose hacker alias is Home of Hash. So just tell me about one particular bluejacking experience, let's say your last uh, bluejacking victim. Oh, well, that would have been yesterday. My favourite place to go is Starbucks in, like, a high street. So I went in there, and there was, like, two or three people that looked possibilities. Um, but only one of them had a phone that was um, available. So basically, I just sent a message just for a wind-up and just said, um, oh, I'm wearing, you know, this kind of underwear and this. And the bloke thought, obviously, it was some woman making a come on to him. I just did it for a laugh, for a joke. Did he uh, at all catch on to you? No, no, he didn't know who it was from. He thought it was a serious someone was sending him a message. Have you ever retrieved any information from somebody's phone? Oh, no, I don't. I think that's wrong in a way. A bit kind of tedious. I'm not a blue snarfer. Just tell me why you blue jack then. Oh, well, it's, it's a laugh and it's fun. I used to kind of spend a lot of time on the internet, on the chat rooms and all that. But it's about a bit kind of, you know, unsocial. So it's better to go to kind of like, you know, places where people have got phones and play, you know, just kind of blue jack then. Have you ever met anybody through Blue Jackie? Made any friends? Um, well, no, not like that. But people other than I are on a Blue Jack, we kind of talk about it and like make and it's just sort of best ways to do it. But no, not like the people that you Blue Jack. Blue Jacking inhabits a legal no man's land, as big wig barrister Shayla Alley explains. Is Blue Jacking covered by uh, English law? It is in part because if you have a Bluetooth device on your computer and someone hijacks your computer, then you could be covered by English law under the Computer Misuse Act 1990. And what this states is if you're if you've got unauthorized access to some information which you shouldn't have, then you can face a fine of up to five thousand pounds or six months imprisonment. However uh, the problem lies if you are using mobile phones because that's currently not covered in English law and it's something that's going to need to be looked at. Would you like to see something in the uh, statute of books? I think it's, it's important that there is something because it's an ever increasing problem in um, our society. Um, the advice at the moment is probably just to switch your Bluetooth off if you're not using it. Um, because on your mobile phones you won't be covered under criminal law. Is bluejacking the newly crowned prince of personal data theft? Or is it just a bunch of kids messing around with mobile phones? Either way, the Office of Communications has assured this programme that the matter will be looked into. This is John Barker for LCC News with this rather phony report.